with you for part two of the um, painting of a UPVC window. This is a demo um, section of window that I've got. If you've watched part one, you've seen I've cleaned it down with the Colour Bond um, recommended um, preparatory um, solutions. So, um, since you've seen me, I've just finished off the taping off of this bit of a casement. Now, what I've done, I've actually put a piece of you know the Cortexy sheeting in. So it looks like a, I've got a glass. I did try to, for you in the last one, I did try to take that very fine, oh, that very fine rubber edge. I struggled because it was such a small edge, you couldn't get any tape against it. And as I said, I use the colour bond because you can paint over the, the rubber edges. So for this demo, I'm not bothering. I don't want to spend hours on end trying to tape a rubber edge that's um, impossible to tape. But what I have done, I mean, you saw I just taped up around the inside edges. I've just gone around a little bit more so I have taped up the rubber edge that would be the one that opens and closes onto the actual frame. I have done that and then I've just for protection I've just gone around with some more tape on the actual edges of the actual um, opener. Now inside because obviously I've put you a made up piece of glass I've just stuck it in with some stickier 3M tape so that's in there so as you look at it, it looks like a bathroom window. Obscure. Can't see any ladies getting showered behind this, can you? No. So this is it, what I've done. I've just put a little bit of tape over the top because I'm going to do half of it brush and half of it on another video spraying it. So that's for now. Let's have a go at brushing it. I've got some nice brushes. Let me show you what I've got. Got the nice... And can you see me? I've got the arrow worthy classic brush, got a lovely bristle. For the demonstrational purposes of this, brushing it, I'll use an inch and a half. It's just the standard, straightforward brush. Obviously, let's get you in focus. The better your brush is, the better your finish. So, here's an inch and a half. Be nice, not too big, not too small. I've used it before, so it's all been washed out. Lovely soft bristle and we're going to brush it. We're going to see how we go brushing it. So let's get the paint mixed up and we'll see how we go. There's no need for a mask on this demonstration because we're brushing it and not spraying it. So. I've got my nice mixing stick. Don't forget I've told you before, when you're mixing paint, use a proper mixing stick from brewers a wooden one plastic no matter what they're made of might be a metal one don't use anything like a cane don't use anything like a pipe anything round that means it's aerodynamic you're not going to actually get into the corners and mix the paint up properly you may laugh but years ago I've known people to get a tin of oil gloss use a bit of a pipe or a cane mix it up think they're fine gloss a room up and wonder why it goes from like a varnish on one end of a piece of skirting to a colour at the other and that's because they've not mixed up and wound the paint up. Top tip Wednesday. So just flicking off these little securing clips, get rid of them, nothing worse than kneeling and sitting on those. It's coming out nicely, come on. That's off now. Come on. Got that off. Now it's stuck onto my screwdriver. Right. So open this lid. See what it's like. Yeah. Proper anthracite colour. So I'm going to give it a nice wind up. Now I'm at room temperature, but I'm outside. So this. I'm in the garage. Now don't forget, paint can be very temperature dependent. Watch your weather forecast, don't do any spraying in cold weather. Likewise, if it's too hot, might not do you any favours. So, that's nicely wound up. I've gone down the sides, I'll show you what I've done. Mixed it up properly, scraped it down the sides, get it all into the corners. This is another video on how to mix paint. Classic, classic. So we're all mixed up properly. Look how that flows. Very good, all right. Just 
just wipe the stick down. Wiping it down so we're not getting any trips off the stick in the place that they Now for the purpose of the video, I'm going to work out the tin. Oh, criminal, criminal, criminal. Working out the tin, but I'm still going to work from one side of the kettle. Now because there's a label on one side telling me, can you see me? Telling me what it is. I'm going to work out the opposite side. So I'll see you in a minute. Back with you technical issues with the battery but not to worry I had to swap it over right back to the paint I've mixed it up I've just been telling you I'm going to work from the opposite side of the tin that hasn't got the label telling me that what actual what the actual product is so I'll be working from this side which is just the front label right the idea when you're brushing see me when you're brushing this colour bond brushable you need to put first your first coat put a, a medium thickness of coat don't over brush it you've got to put it on get a nice nice coverage best you can but don't over brush it and don't over apply don't try and scrub it out so a medium coat now drying time depending on conditions probably about 15 minutes so your 15 minutes you can second coat put a second coat on get it nicely covering you might find when you've got a change of color like this a third coat's ideal now I'll plan for a third coat anyway because three coats it's no different than doing like first coat primer second coat on the coat third coat top coat three coats should be lovely on this now before anybody jumps on the bandwagon I know full well curing time can be an easy five to seven days so we're not going to be doing any scratch testing on this after the first coat or second coat or third coat what I'll do I'll come back to this after a week do a follow-up video if you'd like comments tell me and we'll see what a scratch test video um, is like after a week if we want to do it after a month like I've done with the other um, three water-based products we can do that but this is for testing I'm doing the testing for you and giving you my feedback and as I said in the first video this is the color bond Aquatech Simon at color bond has sent it through to me to test because he knows I've been testing some paints so if it's not very good I'll tell you, I'll tell Simon, and I'll give me feedback. We're not going to be coming here singing the praises of it, and I don't know what it's like. We, we don't work like that. This is an unbiased view of a painter and decorator doing some painting on a UPVC window frame. We're going to be watching paint dry, aren't we? Right, let's crack on with it. Right, I've taped off. Can you just see me? Yeah, I think you can see me. I'll move that, in, move that into frame. I'll start at the top and I'll come all the way down and I'm just doing this half don't worry about don't worry about getting any of the paint onto that rubber on the inside of the glass because it can go over that I'm just trying to get the feel just trying to get the feel of the paint to start with I'm not trying to lay it off just too soon Again, it's not very fair, is it, that we're doing it on a white UPVC window, but that's what a lot of these windows are, white, and we're earning our money, aren't we, from changing the colour. Or you bought a house and you want to renovate and you want to be changing the colour of your windows. You've probably not got 15, 20,000 pounds to spend, but you don't mind spending a few hundred on some paint and your time so let's just lay that off not trying to over brush it this brush is really nice this arrow arrow worthy classic soft bristles it will look a bit grinny because it's a dark color going over a white if you needed to use a tack rag you can use a tack rag just before I started painting, before I went back on camera, I just did wipe over it using my cloth that's still got a bit of the prep cleaner on. Just coming around to this bottom now. Oh. 
quite happy with that. Let's just lay it off. If you've got a bit of an open time, try and get it neat on the corners. You don't want to see any brush marks on these corners. And there you go, masterclass in painting a bit of UPVC with a brush. 15 minutes, I might just get the blower heater on in here just to warm the air. Between coats, between brushing, put your brush in some water um, so it doesn't um, set up. But for now, I'm going to go away, I'm going to have a cup of tea, probably have a Twix. Well, it might not be a Twix, it might be Lidl's own brand. We'll have a little bite to eat and I'll come back after 15 and I'll pick up with you from there. So, see you in a minute. Right, it's a good 20 25 minutes since I um, put a coat on this first coat. So, I'm now just going to do a quick second coat for you. Again, we don't want to be overbrushing it, but we don't want to be putting too much on. So, again, nice, even, um, medium style sort of coat going onto it. And I don't think it will go far wrong. So this will be the second coat going on. I'm not denibbing or anything like that. I'm just coating up over the surface that it is as it is. Does that make sense? So not doing anything to it. We've done the prep. We've done the first coat. Now we're on the second. It's just like watching paint dry. Again. Still feels a bit glazy applying it. And you say I'll give an honest opinion of what I think. Second coat, let's see how we can go. Not putting too much on, but I'm putting enough on to try and get it covering now. It's never going to be easy trying to get a dark colour covering over a light colour. Probably if you've got a, a mint green or some of the sagey colours that are popular on UPVC windows, you'll probably find that they coat up better for two. But as I said, I'm giving it three. It doesn't matter about two coats, we're giving it three. I'm trying to lay off now. Is it starting to pull? When I mean pull, it feels like it's drying on me. Not trying to overbrush it, but I'm also not trying to put too much on. So what we don't want is, if this was in a real life situation of doing it on a window, on a house, what you don't want is runs. Like with any painting, they don't want runs. Right. So I've put enough on without flooding it. Just final laying off. Right. Let's see if we can zoom in on you in that. You'll we'll see a bit of brush marking at the minute because it's drying. But no. Two coats. Definitely hasn't covered. I'm just looking at the camera like you're looking at it. It hasn't covered, but it isn't too bad. So this is second coating. I've told you that. I'm going to pause you. I'm going to give it another 15 minutes, then I'll give it a final coat, and we'll see how we go. So see you in 15, 20. Been another 15, 20 minutes. You can see the corner there. I've just got a blower heater, just warming the air. I put it in front of there, just so I've got an even temperature, and it's actually. Um, dried quite nicely so let's go for the third coat see how we cover as I said second coats not covered brilliantly I won't be letting it go at two coats it'll have a third so I'm going to try a third and we'll see if that's a lot better hopefully we don't need a fourth try and get this going for the third coat so put a nice amount on and what I'm going to do I'm going to start laying off as I come along so I'm not coming back on it onto a wet surface that's going off now first impressions of this final coat it's going on nicely 
sides. Move the sides in. Again, don't overbrush it. Put a nice amount on. You don't want to be flooding it. Get some nice cutting in around that top edge where your joints, where the welded joints are. These are a worthy brushes, seem ideal for this sort of thing. They've got a soft tip bristle, so when you lay off with the tips of the bristle, it flows out nicely. It's not scratching the surface with a, a coarse bristle. So I'm putting enough on, but I'm not putting too much on. Now that's a bit of an oxymoron, but we're laying off. So I'm not coming back to those. last little homeward stretch again I'm going to give you my honest view on what I think of the product how it's applied how it dries what it looks like now let's put that away put the lid on Bring you up. I think you see me. Now I'm going to be honest. Did my samples of the week, didn't I? French Chic, Bedeck, the MSP, and the All Coat Zinza. Do we say this paint's in another league? Quite possibly is in another league. But do you know what? Brushing it, do you know which paint I still prefer for brushing? Is the French Chic. And I know it's two sorts of different products but they're both water-based. The French Chic went on beautifully with the brush. It flowed out and left me no brush marks. Now I can see as I'm applying this, and I know I've waited the 15 minutes because that's what it says, 15, 20 minutes recoat time. I've come to put the third coat on, and it's, it's not like the French Chic. Now, whether you can compare the two products, I don't know, but if you're an amateur or a DIYer looking for a paint that goes on nicely and flows out, so far, the tick goes to French Chic, and as a professional painter and decorator, it's saying something. Now, whether the French Chic's gonna hold up as well as this is, I don't know, because we've got to do long-term testing. You've probably seen on my last videos where I've gone around three jobs where I've used the spray version of the Colour Bond, and they've stood up quite well. So, that gets a tick for how, um, how it's staying on, and the long jet longevity longevity shall we call it longevity longevity the longevity of the color bond original the classic stuff that that's got no problem with that this is first time i've i've used this first time of applying it i mean unusual circumstance or unusual situation of it being in a garage the weather was too bad for me outside this morning this afternoon um i thought get in the garage let's try it let's prep these windows up and see how we go but first impressions I'm seeing a bit of brush marks I don't want to see brush marks in my finishes and I think what I want to be doing is trying this and spraying it and seeing how it holds up let's see if we get a better finish with spraying it hopefully we do but the brush brush marks for me is a bit of a, a no-no let's get it dry let's see what it's like after these three coats have dried if it needs another for a fourth to get it even because this was a white window don't forget if it needs a fourth I'm going to tell you whether it needs a fourth because that means if you were a painting and decorator trying to do some brushing on UPVC because you don't do spraying you might be thinking I've got to allow for four coats it's not a big thing you've got to go around four times or five times if you allow for the cleaning down but for ease of application you might feel a bit more comfortable brushing it well if you already know that you're going to give it four brush coats that's fine so let's see what this dries like I'll come back after it's dried I'll give it a good few hours let it flow flow out I don't think it's going to flow out much you can see it I'm all in focus on that let's try and get zooming in a bit more let's see what it's like but there's a brush application paint 
I suppose it is what it is. Whether I'm happy with the finish, you can just see that there. Just there, it looks a bit brush marky, and that's with a nice brush. So, yeah, let's let's see. Let's not make too much of a decision just straight away. But I want to see what it's like sprayed. I might be keeping with the Colour Bond um, spray version. You know, the one that dries within minutes. But yeah, over and out. Comments smash the bell subscribe do all that i'll finish off this video when it's edited or i'll give you well i'll give you an honest opinion whether it needed a fourth coat now it's dried but for now let's let this dry give it the 20 minutes and i'll come back to it so thanks for watching thanks for listening to me and uh, let's give it on let's give it a proper honest review so over and out it's been about an hour probably just over an hour since i've seen you coming back to my window it's been painted three coats with the colour bond aquatech just having a look at it um, I'll give it a fourth coat main thing is just a little bit of grinning around the corner edges you know where the joints weld together on a UPVC window um, I'm looking at it I'll get the camera down so you can see it but I'd say it is what it is it's what you expect from a, a brushed finish um, of a paint over a surface like painting a window a little bit of a brush mark to it it's nothing too ropey uh, when I mean ropey looking fatty thick edges of paint being brushed on it's, it's not as bad as that it has flowed out but it, you do do see um, a slight brush mark to it so I think all in all you'd be looking at giving four coats to this stuff um, would I be happy with that I'm not sure if four coats are needed that's it would have preferred to be spraying it with the stuff that dries within a few minutes and you give two, three, four coats of that, I'd probably prefer that. I know the finish is um, impeccable really, it flows out nicely and it's uh, an even finish when you spray but for the people that don't want to be doing spraying or don't know how to do spraying, this is your next option, you're brushing it, you're brushing a paint that's uh, a specialist paint that goes over UPVC which is fine and um, I think you can you can get away with it so let's just swivel you around to where my window is and I'll bring you down got the sun coming through now so I'm in the shadow let's move it around see if you can see this one you probably can't see it but down here on these corners let's try and get it up losing the light down there on the corners, a little bit gritty with the brush marks. What I mean grinny, I mean it shows through. And don't forget, we are a white, we're a white surface. We're all dry. Can you see that there? A little bit grinny, I'll get the sun on it. Just showing through the underlying surface. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm not gonna bore you with another coat of paint going on. I'm gonna call it today. And I'll come back to this and give you a report back in a, a week or so's time whether I just put it in the comments below curing time is about five to seven days so let's not expect too much from it straight away I'll put it outside let it weather I'll let the air get round it let it harden off and we'll check back on it in a week in a month's time we'll give a review but this is what it is it's a it's a brushed finish UPVC paint that's dry within 15 minutes weather conditions and heat um, allowing but no it is what it, it is what it is it's a brush finish and I'm used to seeing you PVC sprayed so that's the difference so let's let's call it today if you like the video they've done give us a thumbs up comments subscribe give us some likes if not thumbs down see you on the next one Just thought I'd give you a quick follow up after I've just finished. You've seen the squiggly lines blurring back into this one. After I spoke to you, I gave it a fourth coat. I have to say, it did go on quite nicely for a fourth coat. If you overworked the brush and the paint, um, it did start pulling because obviously it's drying on you. You want to just get it on, lay it off and move around. Now the fourth coat, you see me? The fourth coat went on quite nicely. 
it's um, flowing out nice you have still got that brush mark and you're not going to move away from that so on a I don't want to be negative I don't want to be negative about the product it is a brushed product so you will get that bit of a brush mark but it's gone on the fourth coat is nice it's nicely covered I'd be quite happy with that don't forget this color bond that edge the rubber edge I've also gone over that and uh, the inner edge can you see that I've gone over that so it has gone on on over the rubbers fine so what I'm going to do I'm just going to take these peel these little bits off so you can see a straight line the one there I'm on there can't even get it off still a bit wet on the edges so that's that but I would say yeah if you want to do your brushing of a UPVC window so far so good it goes on four coats and you've got to change colour it's no different than having wooden windows and then you're wanting to paint them is it you might be priming undercoating and two top coating probably no different you've got your prep your cleaning down no different than sanding down your wood windows so yeah would I use it again quite possibly would I prefer it over the um, spray sub no I think for this it's been ideal it's given me a chance to use it it's given me a chance to do a bit of a test panel and also talk to you and tell you about it what was interesting and what I was pleased about washing my brush out is a dream it was a dream to wash out the brush so on a plus note thumbs up subscribe you've liked what I've done comments if there's another product that you think ought to be testing out and trying put that in your comments as well so thanks for listening to me over and out and I will see you on the next one which might be HVLP spraying